Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing another plate haul. These plates, these, I believe there's ten of them. Um, let's see here. Eight. Yes, there are ten plates right here. Um, in case you don't know what brand this is, this is Moyu London's brand of plates. They are probably so far one of my favorite brands. And the reason being is everything is done in collections and their plates are just so well thought out and organized. Um, I have been really good about not spending a whole lot of money when I buy plates because you know sometimes you, you get a little crazy when you go buy plates especially if it's a new brand that you've never tried before or it's a brand that you have tried before and you love them and you're just like I want all the plates. One more. Just, just, just. So I thought I would treat myself to a few extra plates um, so this is a little more than what I normally budget for plate buying out of my paycheck. Uh, so that's why there's so many in this one. So let's go ahead and pull them out of the sleeves and look at them. Alright, so this is plate one from the Alice in Wonderland collection. This is... I was so excited when I saw this collection come out and I'm glad I finally have the collection and I have the entire, all the plates from the Alice in Wonderland plate uh, from the collection. So this is really exciting. So here's just some words from the books. Uh, we do have some images like the coffee, little doily, Cheshire face, clock, flamingo, we're all mad here, uh, bunny, and then just a bunch of clubs. This is a really cool little design. Um, so, oh, you can see me. <laughs> um, you're entirely bonkers, but I'll tell you a secret. All the best people are. I think that's probably one of my favorite sayings because of my family. Um, they tell me I'm incredibly crazy. I, I guess I am. I'm, I, I do have a few screws loose, I know that much, but... Yeah, so there's the first plate. Let's go ahead and get the second one going. Here is the second plate of the Alice in Wonderland collection. This just has like chibi versions of it, plus some tea stuff. The um, If you're familiar with the movie, this is basically what makes me think of like the Mad Hatter tea party kind of thing. This is the sign that you see before you go to the actual table with the Mad Hatter. A white rabbit, Cheshire Cat, Queen of Hearts, and Alice, the main characters. Plus you have a couple of key ho uh, holes and keys, cupcakes, um, little snacks, some more keys, and then just a bunch of little teacups and teapots, and I absolutely love these. They are absolutely adorable. A little pocket watch. So, this is an adorable plate. The Alice in Wonderland plate number three. Now we're getting into some full images. Um, we have two Queen of Heart cards here at the end, but if you look closely, the hearts are different. This one has a floral in it, and this one looks like shattered glass. We have a negative space of keys, and then we have the positive key, teacups, chess pieces, which is funny because a lot of people confuse the Queen of Hearts with the Red Queen and the White Queen. Um, which, if you've read Through the Looking Glass, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, bows. Looks like biscuits, flamingos. Um, a checkerboard, but it has uh, card suits as the playing pieces the little drinks and, and it says drink me and a bunch of little playing cards Alice in Wonderland plate 4 more full nail images these are uh, smaller than the other plates the other ones were kind of like their pro size and these ones are definitely more suited for smaller nails they have a few extra images um, so they have the negative of the 
chest pieces, um, the Cheshire Cat, White Rabbits, Mad Hatter hats, and pocket watches. So those are the extra um, images. So if you wanted to choose between either plate 4 or 3, I would, depending on your nail size, Personally, I would choose plate 4 because I have tiny nails and a full nail image is still going to, you know, over go over my nail, but I have more images to pick from and they're smaller, so I can um, get them to fit better on my nail. So that's just a personal preference. I would suggest getting four if you had to choose between three and four. Alice in Wonderland, plate five. So much love. So Boyo London does full plate images, as you can see here, where basically the entire plate is an image, but they're completely different um, all over. So when I'm going to do the swatch video, it's going to be a very complicated video for me just because trying to piece together the different images. Um, I might be able to do it though. Definitely going to be testing my stamping abilities. I do love all the intricate little bits all over the place, different patterns, lace, and things like that. So, then you have Alice down here. So, this is definitely an interesting plate. She's holding teapot, teacup, some kitty faces, the drink me's, the eat me's, all the different things that Alice tries to, that Alice does take to grow big and small. Uh, sometimes I wish I could do a little bit of the eat me so I can grow a little, but it's just a fairy tale, so... Alice in Wonderland, plate six, is the Queen of Hearts, and it is a full plate image. So much detail, but it's very similar to the Alice plate in that it has this kind of halo effect around the queen or around the person. Her dress is so many different images, different sides, her heart is broken, um, and then it says Queen of Hearts here. So great detailing. The images feel pretty good. Um, so I'm excited to play with this one. Alice in Wonderland, plate seven is the white rabbit. How cute little halo, same as always. And his coat has so many different images. There's so much detail. I just oh, follow the white rabbit. Ooh, excuse me while I yawn. But yeah, follow the white rabbit. The little mouse. Oh no, those are rabbits, sorry. So positive and negative with the rabbits. And then you have the rabbit face, the carrot. I just uh, it, all of these plates are so incredibly detailed. And the last plate that is currently available in the Alice in Wonderland collection, the Mad Hatter plate eight. He is one of the most favorite character in Alice in Wonderland. Um, He's just so fun and kooky and out there, and the plate is no exception, especially in the details. So, his little halo, even his hat has got some crazy detailing. The only thing I wish it had was a card that said 5 and 10, or 10 and 5. Oh, there it is, 10 and 6, sorry. Right here, by his shoe. Cupcakes, buttons. I love the gears. Uh, it makes me think of steampunk. I love steampunk. So just a beautiful plate. So that was all eight plates of the Alice in Wonderland collection. 
The next two plates are uh, from the artist collection. I do have the f uh, first three in this and you can see them um, in my other, my first Moya London haul. So definitely go and check those out if you want to see those plates. And let's go ahead and get into uh, these two artist plates. Alright, so artist plate number four. Again, full image plate. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just look at all those different patterns. And they're big and small. So even my tiny finger... Uh, well, I had some casualties on that hand. So even my tiny little fingernails are going to get quite a bit of detail on them. So that is artist plate number four. And artist plate number five. This plate has a lot of Da Vinci paintings. I want to say Da Vinci. I might be wrong. It's been a while since I've taken art appreciation, so please don't quote me on that. Um, but again, more image details. It is a full plate design. Definitely seeing Renaissance art influence. Um, so, if you're not into nudity, I, I apologize, but that is that is on the plate. And there's no reason why a woman should be shamed of her body, or anybody for that matter. So, but that's a personal preference. Details, I love the radiance. The sun peeking over the cloud. Just overall a really nice, nicely detailed. The only thing that's going to stink is because I have such tiny nails. Even this face, these faces are going to have to be shrunk because I have such tiny fingers, tiny nails. So that is the artist plate number five. Alright, so that concludes the look through of the Moya London plates um, from the Alice in Wonderland collection and a couple from the Artist collection. I do keep my plates in their sleeves. I think it just, they feel nicer to me. Um, I also don't have to worry about scratches then. Um, the plates themselves come mounted on a plastic backing with Moyu London so that cleans up well. There's not, like, they are flexible, so you can see, but they're sturdy enough that I don't feel like it's going to bend. Like, I feel like the plate would pop off before the uh, plate actually bent itself. Yeah, you can hear, hear the adhesive, so... Uh, I'm kind of curious to see how this adhesive is going to hold up in the long run um, because, as you can see, I can pull the corners off the plate, the plastic off the plates. So that is a concern I'm going to have to keep an eye on. Um, and another reason why I might want to keep these stored in their sleeves just to kind of give them a little something to hang, like just apply just a little bit of pressure onto the plate and plastic so that they stay glued together. Moya London plates retail for four ninety nine euro, which is about seven dollars in um, U.S. American currency. Um, so shipping was. Uh, I want to say another five, six dollars, which is about average for shipping. These plates, I want to talk about the tat. So, I remember ordering these plates at work. And I want to say, by the middle of the next week, I got my plates. So, roughly a week, these plates came to me from the UK. That was phenomenal when I when I got these I was like this seemed way too early because when I look at YouTube when I'm looking at uh, new plates I look at other people's reviews of the plates first to see you know what 
I can possibly encounter when I order. They do take PayPal, which is what I use to pay. Um, and everybody was saying that their turnaround time was two to three weeks because they're coming from the UK. Not the case with these plates. I don't know why, but they came in a week for me. And even the postage stated that they came from the UK and they used Royal Mail, um, which is like their US post for Americans. It's their basic post office. So the fact that the mail came through, or this package came through so fast, and it's not a light one, like, it's pretty heavy, there's a lot of plates here. So I was, I was so pleasantly surprised, and I'm glad I've got them now, and I'm glad I'm reviewing them, I can now swatch them. I have been very bad about reviewing and opening and showing you guys the plates I've been ordering. I do order just about every paycheck. Um, I am an adult, ladies and gentlemen, and I have a job, and I have paid for every one of my plates myself. So that's something to take into consideration. Um, I don't have very many bills, so I'm... And I think, actually, I, I, I also quote-unquote, treated myself for being uh, physically promoted, not financially. Um, that actually, I had to wait six months for the financial promotion to take effect, so I will be, you know, rewarding myself for that too. Um, I mean, why not? Um, it's my money, my choice, so... I hope you guys enjoyed the looksies at the plates. I am going to be ordering more from Moyu London this paycheck, um, so definitely keep an eye out for when that happens. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.